What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Dropping Hits back with the reunion of season four. I know we've been waiting for this. It should be a good one. From what I've been reading in the comments, people have seen it already and it's good. So I cannot wait to watch this. I know you guys are excited. I'm definitely excited. So be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, I'm there Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love to see you guys there. So enough about that. Let's drop right into it. On the heels of a successful phase one, the phase two participants continued the investigation into the Fulton County Jail, hoping to bring about positive they change. They do not look the like they want to be this there. This season ended in a way that nobody could have imagined. So tonight we're going to finally get the <laughs> well, inside story. It. Emmanuel and Stephanie. Dumbass. Andrew and Dumbass. Matt, Jacqueline, More Nate, Angela, Alan, and masses. Johnny. Welcome, guys. I love Stephanie. I don't care what happened. We went through this together. Oh, wait till I got a soft spot wait till you, you see what she says. Anything. And how about for you, Stephanie? I mean, I absolutely. It was an up and down relationship, most definitely. Mark, you knock it off. I'm serious. What? Close the door, man. So you show him pissing in the cup? I could end up aggressing against him. In the middle of the night, I decided I was going to pee in a cup. I knew it. Look, if I want to piss in a cup, I will piss in a cup. You knew it was good to piss in a cup. I had to do that. I was ready to go with Tebow right then. Why? Because he called you out? I know I'm a target in one way or another. And if I fight with... You know, my inside name was Reed. I now call myself or refer to myself as Crybaby Reed because all I do yeah. is cry. And now it's back. I haven't <laughs> cried like this in a little bit, but it's back and I feel these emotions. All right, Stephanie, let's dig into your story a little bit if we can. Uh -oh. Did you have a strategy going into jail? I was oh, just going to play my cards. I just want to win. How I needed to play them, but I had no strategy when I went in there. I want to look at your time behind bars. Don't do it. You're about oh, no, to start something. Jackie, but I use there. See? Already. Uh oh. So my strategy was to eventually, if I didn't need her anymore, just throw her under the bus and get her out. They're bullying her. That's, how she was That's all they're showing. I want to win. We're one. I just want to prove to people that I can do this. I'm a lot stronger than people think I am. People underestimate me a lot. When what though? I'll be so happy, especially at the end, knowing that I myself finished the whole 60 days, and not only that, but Jackie went home and didn't finish. That would make Why? Me I still don't understand why. You were here for the wrong reasons. The wrong f reasons. Okay, Shut I'm going to tell you right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, when you man, disrespect someone in jail, what <laughs> happens? You get your ass beat. When you okay. dis disrespect someone on the streets, you ain't from the streets. But let me tell you what it is. You're going to get your ass beat. Do you understand me? Jackie, ready to go. I am go. done being nice to you. Okay. You deserve the street justice, right. and I will find you. That's it. Okay. Get him. Okay. So, get him. Stephanie. Is she weak? Oh, Stephanie. Hey, okay. Stephanie. Okay. Was it the goal what? for everyone to get through to help the colonel gather information exactly. that would make the system better? So then I'm confused. Exactly. And let me let me elaborate on that for you. There ain't There's no elaboration. What's going on between me and Jacqueline at that time? Are you happy that she dropped out? That's just a simple question. Yes or no? I mean, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm happy that she dropped out. It's, it's not. It's not a. Okay. Oh, Damn. I hope so, she would have stayed. In my uh, opinion, we were all selected for different reasons. We all had very valuable um, upbringings that was going to give the colonel an opportunity to figure out, you know, faults in the jail. Right. I see what I saw there was unproductive. She was becoming a target, and again, I was in the jail so to what? do a job, not to be anyone's friend. You were so. in there to be on TV, Stephanie. No, there I was you go. not. I, I was thought you wanted to be on Survivor. I was in there to do a job. Exactly, and I made it to the season finale. You are a pathological liar. Am I call I? your b and your credibility is right. for nothing. Is Nobody it? should believe a thing that comes out your mouth. Really? So I come across as a hard, as a, maybe uh, as a uh, cold-hearted uh, uh, person uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, you're trying to oust a competitor who's not competing with you in a system where you're supposed to be helping the colonel make the justice system better for people who are stuck in jail. I have a heart, and I will admit this. So yes, I owe you an apology, and I'm sorry. Coming up That's on it. 60 Days In, the after. Half ass apology. You know, the only time to me that when Bucci was, was mad and something is because either the blood on his wall 
in the way the seals are, uh, are <laughs> you know, pretty much uh, yelling What's back it? at him. I wasn't quite as hard on the Boochmeister behind his back as Johnny the, the apparently what? was. But you gotta <laughs> the understand they're doing their job and there's some people are, are not made to be in them uniform. And that, that I can be friendly with anybody and I want to mingle and make friends and, and, and relationships. What? And just kind of show that side of a, of a police officer that uh, nobody ever sees. They just, just go see to a the bar, bad parts. Man. They don't see the good stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> We're gonna show the, the dope head strippers. Smoking orange peels. They made me some whippet with like a uh, upper in it. Oh my god! I took about like five, six of the scoops of the whippet, and I was like, like I was like, nah, 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 nah. what? <laughs> like, I, was, I was going crazy. He was like on a comic book character. I absolutely do think it's okay for a participant Ugh. to use prescription drugs. I was a pharmacy technician, so I know all the drugs. And in my well, opinion, in my, excuse well, me, well, let me finish. Let me, let me finish, sir. You can't control me on this set. I'm, um, I'm, anyway, I just asked a question. <laughs> any, excuse me. But what? anyway, so, um, I mean, Nate's question was, weren't you concerned that you're already behind no. bars on a program that could easily turn into actually being behind bars if someone caught you? No. High risk. I wasn't concerned. You weren't worried about it. You made the statement that I'm trying to control you. Why did you take drugs behind bars? In my cell, they were... So I, I wanted to fit kind, in? Kind of on to me. Like I said, I was with Jacqueline a lot, and they was on her, so they was kind of on to me. So I was like, okay, I'm about to do them. And plus, that, I'm not going to lie, the Whippy really, Wednesdays, really, really, I like really. them. And I'm like, okay, ooh, this tastes good. But you did, okay, dope head. some pressure, and then you liked it, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God, Gabrielle is... Johnny, oh, she is a beautiful woman. When I saw Gabrielle for the first time, I was Not like, man, really. this is gonna be trouble. <laughs> Gabrielle, she's feisty. She's really feisty. You know, we started off at, at a strong connection, but we flirt with each other. I know. Like, man. And then from it was, there, it, was it over grew this? more and more into like a You ruined the whole program over connection. this? Too old. And I mean, Come we on. even shared the love use. Angel makes me laugh. She's working look, on me. She's look, doing it's something. Look, getting to her. I, I definitely am falling for Gabrielle. Knowing how serious me and her were getting, I think that's where I was just kind of like, okay, like I have to let her know what's Why? up. Why? I knew that it was just like, holy just shit, like wait I'm letting someone out. know. But at the same time, I don't feel that it put the program at risk. Only reason I say that is, like I said, I, I trust her. I look at them as humans who made human errors. So I'm not about to judge somebody for what they've done or what they've been through because okay, you've got nothing to do with it's you different when you're from the saying you were undercover and you see though that pain and you feel that pain walking in somebody's shoes that's why when colonel alger said oh he got a chance to walk in their shoes he ain't walking in their shoes he's a cop he's on the oppressor side i mean he's like, a I lot could've, closer I could've to been knowing murdered. what it's like I could've been than any other cop in this country jail. anybody oh, man, found one out at what a I time did. guys i could have been straight up murdered because i'm a cop inside of a jail there's not like peace love and harmony mm -hmm. i would have been shot down beat down of dead. course because you ain't got to worry about nothing on the outside right do well, you i don't have to worry about getting no shot sense. going to work every day i don't have to worry oh, about feeling i don't have to worry i don't have to worry about getting shot that's the same thing hold on that's the same thing that we experience all the time i didn't say y'all weren't but i'm saying she said i don't have to worry about I did not trust Gabby, not one bit, not one bit. I did you tell didn't her. Say like, nothing about that on the show. This is what you want. This is what you want. I can't, I can't tell you nothing else after that. But I'm telling you not to trust her. Can I ask a, a logistical question? Mm -hmm. How do you have sex in a place where there are s six other people, and then you s and the other person? <laughs> What? Build a tent. And there's a camera. Tent. <laughs> yeah. So you just build a tent. I'm not about to sit here and pretend and fake like, oh yeah, I'm this perfect person who lives this perfect life, and I don't ever get mad. Yeah, I don't but it's fall common in love, sense, la, 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 la. Come Like on. that's not me. You, you know, I gotta that's, say, I'm listen, listen to you have no I common appreciate sense. your position and all that, but to say because you, you do something really bad and then you your excuse is because I'm human. The I don't so hard, understand you know I mean? how you don't have regrets. You have a group of people who you let down very, I don't. very personally and not well, so accidentally. That's just me as a right? person. I don't. Yeah. So what? She got and pride. She's very no. proud and that's good. But if you want to apologize to us, you've got to understand that along with that comes a real sense of regret or it, it rings hollow to us. 
you're an interesting conundrum to me, right? <laughs> a very streetwise young lady, right, who at the same time is ridiculously naive, mm. right, in the same, same... I've been saying that the whole and show. And who also put a lot of people at risk in very serious ways, right? This is not a joke. So if, if something had happened before people figured it out... I just want to genuinely apologize to you guys because, you know, even though I am pretty street smart, I was that naive sense. with falling in, in love. Uh, any other final questions? Question. Go oh, ahead. You like yeah. her now? There was a point <laughs> at which, um, you know, I I got in trouble for. What I said I I. I I, I peed in a cup. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Why was that a big deal? I want to set the record straight. Okay. Piss oh, in a cup. Lord. I got in all sorts of trouble. This is what happened. You know how it is. You get these big baggy pants, and they gave me an oversized pair. Come and on, so man. I thought I'd pulled them down enough, but I hadn't. I'm just being real with you. One stream was actually going into the toilet. The other one was going down my pants. Yeah, that, that really goes to uh, <laughs> TMI, right? Yeah, there you no, go, man. baby. And I said, I got to be more careful. She's and like, then what? I figured it out. I said, well, if I just pee in a cup, I'm not going to wet myself anymore. And I know this is That bad. makes no this sense. Is, I'm so mortified what? by this. But I have to set the record straight, because it wasn't just I just, oh, I like to pee in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> you probably do. When we is your staff upset that they, you were basically running an undercover thing? I mean, what what right can they under do? Their noses? Uh, they have been surprisingly positive. I've gotten emails. Yeah, they they trying to lose their job. To me and, and, and congratulate <laughs> me know? for doing what I've done. Any final words for these participants? I just want to once again suck. thank each and every one of you on behalf of Sheriff Ted Jackson and myself. Thank you. Thank you. You took time away from your what? families. What? You tapped out. Your precious so. families. And he says, will you participate in the next season? How many of you would do that? Me? Yeah. I'd do it. Wow. I'm impressed that some of you would That's do it again. That's a lot. Straight Good up, legend. I'd do it. Congratulations on pulling off Just to what answer was everybody's question. an impossible task. I Thank would you. do well it. Done. And well done, of course, to all of you. That wraps things up for 60 Days in the Aftermath. I know I'm how to run that thing. Thanks for being with us. Okay, so that's it. We are officially, officially done with 60 Days in. Every season has been done. Oh. So now, going to concentrate on Narco Land, which is once a week. Start doing, I think I mentioned this in the last video, start doing live PD once a week. And Beyond Scare Straight once a week, so... That's at least three videos a week. If I have time to do more, I will. But between the full-time job, doing the videos, and live streaming at night, that's probably all I'm going to be doing. So I don't want to get burnt out doing these. You know what I mean? So, all right. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. As I stated before, if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, please do so. Link is below in the description, and I would love to see you guys there. I'm going to be showing Season 5 over there, so full episode. So come check that out. I love you guys, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next video. About time, damn. Oh! What?